And I had um, somebody comment and say, you know, I'm from the Church of God in Christ. I'm not, I didn't, I'm not brainwashed or uh, I, uh, what part of what part of what you are, what part of what you view that you're not understanding that I'm telling folk what I went through, and you know, preacher, I'm an elder in the Church of God in Christ. He said to me, and he said something about you just want to wear that heavy lipstick and that heavy and pants and makeup and and read Deuteronomy and Acts two and thirty, and I'm like, oh my God. They're still, they're still using those scriptures, and those scriptures, they have no, it's so taken out of context until it's ridiculous. Those particular scriptures are used to uh, manipulate, brainwash, and control the women. Uh, these women, and y'all have said it in my, just upsetting, you know, just looking like, oh my God, but... And, and making them feel like they just smack dab in the will of God for listening to that uh, misinterpretation of scripture. You know, man shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a woman, neither shall a woman put on a man's garment. Simple interpretation. Men shop at the men's store. Women shop at the women's store. Mighty, 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 mighty amazing and you got that makeup on dead like Jezebel and Jezebel was a prostitute okay when did you meet her and uh, what makes you say that when I wear makeup that I have I'm her ignorant straight ignorant and you just all the way out of the will of God you like Carlton Pearson and and you just got your tats, tattoos and yeah, makeup and wearing pants and and Leviticus is very uh, 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 what is point blank as to what it says with regard to tattoos and then I started responding again the reasoning behind what they were doing is not the reason behind what I do. So your point is irrelevant, you know, and, and, and because back in the day, in the Bible day, they were cutting on themselves for various reasons and uh, paganism, actually, is what it was. And, and so here we are in this day and time, and I have it tatted, embedded upon me, grace and, you know, the cross and the dove and the representation of the Holy, all of this that I have on me and other things. And. And so I'm just all of a sudden in the category of paganism because that's what they were doing. Stupid. It's, I'm just stupid. And my prayer is for the women all over the world that they'd wake up and realize, sweetheart, pastor's ex-wife, she stand by what she said. You're not going to bust hell wide open for putting that. But somebody said, I need to go put on a skirt. And I went, man, come on. Anyway, uh, by wearing pants, looking nice, wearing makeup, fixing yourself up, her weeds, all of that. None of that stuff. None of that. None of that. None of that. It's going to take you to hell. Here's that ya. I am pastor's ex-wife.